All right, today we're talking a little bit about regenerational forest. We're talking about taking clear cuts uh, and turning them into future bedding thickets. And some of the lessons that I learned over the last couple of years through this process. So I'm an avid outdoorsman. I love hunting. And I've got kids that I'm trying to get into hunting. And so one of the things, and one of the reasons you don't want to get in and clear these clear cuts up right away, is you want brush piles. So I want some strategically placed brush piles in my bed and thickets around the property so that I can have really good small game hunting. I want rabbits and I want little critters that my kids can hunt, right? In a dedicated space so I know where to go, to where to find them, so I can put kids on wild game and share that passion for hunting that I have with the next generation. So leave some of that brush in the thicket, okay? It'll help. The second item is stump sprouts. So if you get in there and grind out all the stumps in your bed and thickets, you're not gonna have any of those stump sprouts. And here in Minnesota, stump sprouts are excellent winter browse. So once everything else is covered with snow, you've still got all that stump sprout growth that the deer, white-tailed deer are gonna be hammering. Not only that, it adds to the thicket, right? It grows up nice and thick. And so having stump sprouts in your clear cuts is gonna add value for the whitetail. It's a food source and it'll help from a cover perspective to make sure that your clear cuts are super nice and thick. You know, we just need to let nature do its job, okay? So we've got other parts of the property that are 18 months after clear cut that we've got awesome growth that's over my head, right? Eight foot growth. I'm gonna have to brush cut that next year, cut it back down so that it still continues to add value for the, the white-tailed deer and the other native species here on the landscape. But within 18 months, I've got eight and nine foot growth in these clear cuts. So don't get scared. Just let nature do what it does and it'll create really, really cool habitat, regenerational forest, new forest that the critters are really gonna love. The only thing that I do like to add to these bed and thickets is a little bit of thermal cover. So here in Minnesota, after the leaves drop on everything, it gets really thin and there's not much of a place to hide. So you start talking about rifle season for whitetail, start talking about muzzleloader season for sure. When there's a foot of snow on the ground, I want some thermal cover. And so we add in some spruce and conifers and different pine variants in our bedding thickets that gives that thermal cover that we're looking for for the white-tailed deer. So all in, when you're doing clear cuts and they're dedicated bedding thickets, what you wanna do is leave a little brush there for small game hunting success and just keep it wild. Leave those stump sprouts in there for a food source and to keep your thicket thick. Uh, let nature just do its job, and if you're up north like I am, add a little thermal cover for great success.